Yes, peeps. Bro, look at my fucking chest, bro. Man's dead. Literally, I'm fucking dead, bro. I'm too dead for my own good. I literally don't even look at me like, bro, this guy's fucking dead, bro. And to the point where I can't even, like, make eye contact with them because I feel like such a beast that I have to look down on the floor. Literally, do you guys ever have that at the gym? Where you're such a beast, bro. Everybody's, like, looking at you. It's like, nah, fuck it, bro. I can't make eye contact because I'm scared of you, bro. So I just, like, look at the floor for most of the time I'm at, I'm at, I'm at the gym. <laughs> Uh, anyways, I just want to say it's all today, fam. We're not banging out reps, fam. Banging out like fucking dips with fucking like 50 kg, bro. Donnie's were looking at me like, bro, this guy's a fucking beast, bro. Pushing 50 kg on a dip, fam. My mom was bare flexing my chest, fam. Bare Donnie's looking at me like, bro, this is a gay flex, bro. Just look in the floor, don't look at any Donnie's, bro. Cool. Now my chest is fucking popping out, like, popping out of my shirt. I just wanted to say, yeah, fucking gains are being made. Oh, the topic of today's video is going to be how you use pain as a tool to, how you use pain to motivate you. So everybody in life has been through some sort of pain. Some people have been through more, been through more pain than others that has like made them into who they are. Like, I don't know, some people don't like people, some people do because of the life experiences, etc. You know what I'm on about childhood upbringing this and that what you've been through but everything that is hurting bro i can't get over how fucking my chest is just like popping out anyways i just want to say that fucking use your pain to drive you bro if you don't like somebody if you don't like people in general because of what they've done to you just become a fucking beast bro just become a beast murk people in the nicest way it's good to be a nice guy, like obviously, but I've noticed that in this world, uh, you're such a pure kid, like, you um, you start off as a pure individual, like, you're pure, like, no ego, like, you don't know much about the human ego, human emotions, to be really, you really haven't had any neg negative experiences with people that have, like, taken your purity away, so you're just kind, pure, you know how it is when you're a kid, but as you start to experience life or what it is, people start to lose their niceness. That's a fact. People lose their niceness. People don't want to be nice anymore because of what people are like. You know, people take advantage of kindness, but you use that, yeah? Use that, yeah? Unfortunately, I would love to be kind in the world. Like, I would love to be kind to everybody. As much as I can, but it doesn't work realistically in this life. Like you know how it is. If, unfortunately, because of free will and people, you just have to become a bad badass. You have to like fuck Donnie's up. Unfortunately, that is just life. Unfortunately, I wish that everybody could get along. Everybody could be kind to each other. But unfortunately, there's a lot of dickheads out there that love to take advantage of humble people. They see that they're pure, still pure, and they're just like fucking. Uh, take that away from them which does happen unfortunately that is life but that's a something you need to do is build your inner bad so you can fuck bunnies up so people know not to mess with you in a good way because there's a lot of evil people out there and just conserve your kindness to good people help others and fuck up people brother that really need to get fucked up like fighting is a good thing like bro start bare, bare knuckle boxing Start fucking going to boxing, fucking Muay Thai or whatever, so you can learn to fuck people up, like, so you can teach them a lesson, you know what I mean? Like, bro, once you get a good beating handed to you, like, bro, lessons have been learned in a good way. I mean, if you look at life, people have been fucking each other up for thousands of years. That is just life, unfortunately. Um, This hippie, happy, hippie way of thinking, one love, this and that, it doesn't really work in the real world, unfortunately. It doesn't work in the Matrix. Maybe it works um, in the Amazonian jungles where un un with uncontacted tribes and this and that. But not in this Matrix 9 to 5 world, man. There's a lot of things that go into. There's a lot of things that stop you from being nice. Because if you're nice, unfortunately, in this 9 to 5 mat Matrix environment, you're not going to get you're not going to get get anywhere. Unfortunately, that's just how it is. Like, nice guys finish last. So, I like build your... Unfortunately, 
unfortunately. That's just how it is because of people. Big ups to you for being a good person, though, deep inside. But unfortunately, you have to have a good side and you have to have a bad side. That is just life. That That is not a bad thing, by the way. Because you're using your powers to good. Unless, like, you're an evil person. It's like, you're a badass, but you're an evil person. You just go around and bully others. Nah. Okay, that's... You're getting fucked up by somebody else. And they're going to teach you a lesson. It's just a cycle. It's like, but yeah. Use your pain to your advantage. Everyone's going to get hurt somehow. By fucking... I don't know, you know. People just get hurt, man. I don't know, like, fucking break up or... A girl has had their feelings, or parents, or whatever, man. Or someone died in your family, you lost your son, or you went to prison, or God knows, man, God knows. But use your pain, uh, you can change everything about your life. Remember to be a good person and a badass at the same time. Only be a badass, fuck people up that need to get fucked up. Because remember, it's a battle against good and evil, so you need to. Fuck up the evil side, bro. Fuck the evil donnies, bro. Hey, bro, if I see any donnies that are evil to others, like, Billy, I'll fuck them up. I literally just like... Wait, let me show you how my slap is like... My slap game, like, bro. My slaps connect, man. Like, bro, if I were to slap you, yeah, bro, like, your face would come off, like, on a level, like... One, two, three. Oh, did you hear that? That like, connected, bro. Wait, one more, one more. For the mandem, yeah? Big slap, like, bang. Sorry, I can't because I've got a wound here, bro. I fell, fell, fell down on the bike out here, man. Fucking scrape this off, like, proper. It doesn't look bad now, but it was very bad. It was literally like a chunk out of my hand, like. Fucking fell down. Because like, now it turned into a scab and that. But obviously, you guys don't need to know that shit. Anyways, thank you. Thank you for tuning in. Uh, Keep on making gains. Fucking fuck up. Bro, and grow your beard out as well, bro. Grow your fucking beard out, bro. Be a fucking... Um, G, bro, it's got to be a man, like, be a proper, like, manly man, like, again, reject all temptation, focus on yourself, um, uh, want all the new age propaganda, Babylonia system, ways of life, uh, indo- indoctrinations that they're trying to put on to us, people that are connected with the mother nature, that have been doing the same thing, have been keeping the same values, the same cultures for thousands of years, suddenly it's now changing, because, they want people to lose themselves, bro. They don't want people to uh, have any culture. They want people to be doing the most wickedest, nastiest, lustiest things, bro, to change them so they lose their identity. Like, literally, that's what it is. The Babylonian New Age Conspiracy Theory Illuminati way of life is getting pushed onto people so they come away from their natural uh, way of life. Remember, if you go against the creator, if you go against the creator, and you're doing something wrong. And think about how you are going against the creator. Anything you do, like, remember the creator is not wrong. So for you to go against the creator, you're wrong. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know whether you believe in religion or not, but, bro, if you look at the evidence of design, like, every design has a designer and everything here is perfectly designed. So whatever it is, they've designed this to be perfectly how it is. So for you to go against it, whether you believe in God or fucking start or nothing, for you to go against it, it just fucking uh, wicked, bro. Some lustful shit. Now, nah, what it is, it stop, it's not wicked to others, but it stops you from being your, your best, you know what I'm saying? So resist temptation, stay focused, my brothers, stay focused. You know what I'm saying? Say, grow your beard out as well, bro. Be a proper man. Grow your fucking beard out, bro. If you shave... Then shave. <laughs> Alright, sip. I'm looking pegged though. Look at my chip. Bro, I'll fuck you up, bro. Literally. Alright, safe.